Hey guys, that Mike Gamer back here for another video. Guys, welcome back to episode of my daily snapping series. Guys, let's get started right away. What we're going to talk about today is actually going to come in from a commenter down below who said, uh, Peyton Heard, who said, in your next video, you should do the top three least favorite promos this whole entire year. So the three promos I liked the least. And make sure, guys, you'd like to get a shout out. Comment down below on my video and I will give you a shout out if I do end up choosing your idea. Also, real fast, just like always, let's shout out the people who did actually comment on my other channels. So shout out to, let's see who we, I wanna make sure I don't do the same people every single time. So we're gonna do, um, I don't know if I did this person already, but Ravens Fan 3. So shout out to Ravens Fan 3. And then for that Zom Gamer, that was on Fancy Truck Stuff, which again, guys, go check out those channels. Uh, if you like my Friday 13th content, go subscribe to that uh, Zom Gamer. I upload two Zombie or two Friday 13th videos every single day to that uh, channel. With that in mind, though, uh, shout out to, um, let's see, Robbie Jacobs. Robbie Jacobs. But anyway, guys, so today what I'm talking about again is going to be top three promos that I least like this year. Number one is going to be Cover Rush. Although Cover Rush was cool, you could get packs. It did cost a lot to do the sets. And to be honest, the Todd Gurley after like a week was not worth it. Because I believe that's when Le'Veon Bell came out. So the Todd Gurley wasn't worth it. The sets were cool. But outside of the fact you could spend either $5 to do to um, get the set done... I was like, not to set down. You can get five dollars to buy any uh, jersey you want, which I believe did not have chemistries, but you could buy the jersey you wanted, or you could do the set, get a chemistry on the jersey, and that was all cool. Don't get me wrong, but the fact of the matter is, it costs so much to do the set. I think it costs like 20, 30, 40 k to do the sets, and you know it's not too much to do the set, but it just wasn't something I was really interested in doing. I think I did it on like a couple accounts just because of the fact you got a free uh, cover rush pack if you did do it. But other than that, the players weren't too crazy. I mean, you know, there was a lot of good players in the game, but nothing that I was really too excited about. With that in mind, the second promo I would have to say I did not like the uh, at all would have to be the can 2016 campaign uh, promo. That was probably number two because that was just awful. And, you know, a lot of people can agree with me. We just, no one really liked that promo. I mean, a couple people probably did, but a lot of people just really hated it. It was annoying. It cost about, I think, at the time I was trying to do it, about two weeks ago, before the fan appreciation packs on the game, which now that everything's back up in price, it should go back to normal. But it cost about like a million to two million to do each set. And then you had to do like the ultimate tickets, and the ultimate tickets would cost about like six million to, do, to get an ultimate ticket. After you do all the players, the players are non ultra and tradable. Oh, it's just a, so badly a headache. With that in mind, the next and uh, the final one, number three, is going to have to be Madden Rewind promo. Madden Rewind, Rewind promo was just awful. I hated that so much. And, you know, the solos, I did the solos because of the fact that they are profitable. But you have to start out with like 100 to 150k. And then you can do the solos. But you have to spend all your coins, the chances of you making coins back. Probably not going to happen as much because of the fact that, again, it's about 30k to do the solos, right? You get three non ultra and tradable players, which is nice that one of that non ultra and tradable player is 95+. plus, But the other two are going to be crappy 90, you know, 90 to 91 overalls. So they're not going to be worth it. With that in mind, again, it's going to cost you a lot to do it. You do make back a lot of coins, but I don't think you're truly going to make back the coins you actually started with. With that in mind, it's just annoying to do. Not fun at all. I hate solos that you have to unlock. I hate having to, you know, get cards by lining up to unlock a solo. I just want a solo to be out there and I can do it. No big deal. Not have to unlock it. But you guys can tell me down below what you guys think. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like button, subscribe to if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also, guys, make sure you check out my gaming channel and my football channel. Click on the little icon so you can go directly to the channel. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.